You know, guys, if you follow the German media, the German media have been telling Germans that power prices have gone up because of renewable energy. This is actually completely false. In fact, renewable energy in Germany, it did rise this year significantly because primarily of more battery storage and a bit more wind and solar. But prices for electricity skyrocketed when renewables weren't at their full generating capacity in the months of November and December. Basically, Germans have been tricked into believing renewables are hurting them, but actually it's coal power plants and gas peaker plants that are turning on during winter. It's also companies wanting to profit from you. Germany has just hit a staggering 63% renewables in 2024. 63, well, technically actually, guys, sorry. I lie, 62.7%. By the time you're watching this video, they're probably at around 65%. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. Guys, Germany, renewable energy in Germany is skyrocketing. Now, surprisingly, solar contributes only 14% of that total. The Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems reports that Germany generated 72.2 terawatt hours of solar in Germany in 2024. Now, that accounted for 14% of total electricity generation. So what is going on in Germany? What are the numbers behind what's happening in Germany? For one, Germany has retired I believe some of its nuclear power. So it's making the switch to renewables. Germany generated 72.2 terawatt hours of solar power in 2024. That accounted to 14% of its total output. Wind power remained Germany's largest source of electricity, generating a staggering 136.4 terawatt hours or nearly twice as much as what solar generated. I mean, that's a pretty good result, I think. PV generation set a production record of 72.2 terawatt hours, despite less favorable weather due to the rapid expansion of solar capacity. So where was this electricity actually going to? Well, reports show that 12.4 terawatt hours of this total was used for solar self-consumption, marking an 18% year-on-year increase and raising the share of solar PV in electricity generation. July was a record month with solar system producing 10.7 terawatt hours. I mean, if, for example, we saw July every month, we would have seen what, 100 and, more than 120, about 125 terawatt hours of energy come from solar alone. But we only saw, what was it, around 72.2. So you can see a lot more sun in July. Therefore, a lot more energy was created. Hydropower saw a slight increase, contributing 21.7 terawatt hours. Total renewable energy generation reached 275.2 terawatt hours, up 4.4% from 2023. Biomass plants with an install capacity of 9.1 gigawatts generated 36 terawatt hours of electricity. You can see here, Germany has a very diversified mix of electricity. So what about its dirty electricity? Because I mean, what, 38%? 37% was, you know, generated from fossil fuels. Generation from coal-fired power plants declined sharply in Germany in 2024. Lignite production dropped 8.4% and hard coal fell by 27.6%. Lignite-fired power plants produced 71.1 terawatt hours, so just a bit less than solar, roughly matching solar or thereabouts, says pvmagazine.com. Hard coal plants generated 24.2 terawatt hours. Natural gas production, it increased significantly around 9.5% year on year to 48.4 terawatt hours with an additional 25.6 terawatt hours used for industrial self-supply. Now, as you can see here, solar and natural gas were pretty much on par with each other. But here's the great thing. Germany's CO2 emissions continued their downward trend, falling to 152 million tons in 2024, which was a staggering 58% reduction from 1990 levels and more than half of 2014 levels. So within 10 years, Germany has more than halved its CO2 coming from energy production. 
Grid load reached 462 terawatt hours, which slightly exceeded 2023 figures, showing higher overall consumption. Here's some other positive news. Battery storage capacity saw huge growth with installed capacity rising from 8.6 gigawatts to 12.1 gigawatts, 8.6 to 12.1. Now it's projected that this year, another around seven gigawatts will be added, meaning the total will be around 19 gigawatts, which would be well over double the installed capacity of 2023. That's a pretty amazing number. And that will substantially increase the amount of solar and wind going into the grid. In fact, that alone will increase solar and wind by at least another 10%, meaning Germany will hit around 75% renewable energy simply by increasing the amount of batteries. The amount of batteries it has, if, if that's all Germany does, just build out all these batteries that are planned over the next two years, then Germany will hit 70, 75% renewables, which is a pretty staggering number for a country that's pretty cold. You know, it doesn't get a huge amount of sun like Australia does. Germany's battery storage capacity now surpasses pump storage by approximately 10 gigawatts. And this shows you the incredibly important role that battery storage has in Germany. Electricity imports rose to 24.9 terawatt hours, driven by lower generation costs in neighboring countries during summer. France, 12.9 terawatt hours. Denmark, 12 terawatt hours. Switzerland, 7.1 terawatt hours, and Norway, 5.8, were Germany's top electricity suppliers, while Germany exported power primarily to Austria, 7.4, Poland, 3.5, Luxembourg, 3.5, and the Czech Republic, 2.8. Electricity prices, well, they surged when renewables weren't running at their peak, when it's cold, for example, through winter. In November, December, renewable prices actually, or prices of electricity, I should say, increased substantially, making fossil fuel power plants make a big profit. So Germans, basically, you gave big profits to fossil fuel power plants in November and December. So if you're complaining about power prices, that's who you have to blame. Energy charts noted that Germany has sufficient capacity to produce and export electricity during winter, unlike Austria, Switzerland, and France, which face seasonal shortfalls. So the energy crisis in Germany isn't really a crisis after all. It's more of a media beat up. To be honest, Germany is headed in the right direction. All they need is a bit more wind, a bit more solar and more batteries, and Germany will hit 80% renewables over the next three to four years. That's pretty much a foregone conclusion. As you can see from these numbers, it's very, very obvious that Germany could easily hit 95% renewables within the next six to seven years. It would be really not even a stretch goal. It's very, very much realistically possible if they want to do it. It just comes down to desire. Guys, let me know your thoughts here behind these numbers. These are the stats. These are the actual real numbers, not the um, the jargon being thrown around by the German media. Some of the, some sections of the media don't, don't like renewables. They want to support coal. They want to support gas for whatever reason. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments.